Thank you very much for checking out the companion DVD for the Oops deck. My name is Michael Paul, and in a couple of minutes I'm going to walk you through some of my favorite routines with the Oops cards. Now, just handling these cards and playing with them will inspire you to come up with your own routines, but I hope that these routines provide you with a good jump off point, uh, something that you can experiment with, try out, and perhaps improve. So I look forward to seeing what you come up with, but for right now let's get right to the magic. You had to just uh, reach in there and just grab a chip if you like. Had a good one? That's good. All right. You can pop that open, just scribble your name on the back. Excellent. I'm going to give you the card. Go ahead and fold it back up for me. And squeeze it. Like wonderful. When I waved, the card changed. Now, if you have a peek, your signature is still on there. But now there's something different about your card. Go ahead and open it up. It's different from every other card in the pack. It's not like any other card you've seen before. This one has actually turned upside down. Here's a way of telling how the cards are misprinted before you buy them. If you come across a box that looks like this, chances are uh, not only is the box messed up, but all the cards on the inside are messed up as well. The backs that are kind of off-centered, and some people don't mind. The good news is that there's a, a way of fixing this. It's called the pull and stretch method. What you do is you take the card, give it a little pull, a little stretch, and the card will actually go back to normal. It's not just the card that goes back to normal. In fact, um, the entire pack will go back to normal. A actually, it's not even just the entire pack that goes back to normal, but um, the box goes back to normal as well. Now this is a pack of cards that I can use.